<laughs> hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hurst. Man, we are late today and it's not even my fault, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> but, but it's not my fault either. We had a customer hey, come I'm in. I'm all about the customer. I mean, yep. we got to pay the rent. So <laughs> we, we definitely are paying the rent today. So uh, also, well, so all we do today is actually do a redo of what we did yesterday, taking the same flowers, almost, and giving them two different new looks as far as color palettes go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to do one that's more in the darker, those maroon plum colors with a little bit of purple and just a little bit of this sienna red. Ooh, Ugh, look at that pretty. That Ugh. is. So, so pretty. And I'm actually going to go back and add a few of just the Freedom Roses on top of that for just a little bit crisper red because sometimes if you like to squint at this, this, this recedes really bad without other shades of the same color to make it pop out. So, so let's start with that. So today I'm actually going to use red tea leaves. Ta -da. Yeah. I actually talked to Jennifer and I said, what about if we did this, put the green in and then did stripes of the burgundy? She goes, nope, too much. Forget it. Too much. So, too much, too much, too much. So. Well, we have some people saying that it's okay because they were like catching on too. <laughs> well, y'all know we got to help that customer. And you know what? It yeah. is one of our customers that watches our video every day. Okay. Every day. Oh, someone just messaged us. Are you there yet? We we're, just we are, came on. We just came on. Sorry. But we're here. Better late than never. That's hopefully, right. Hopefully. So. We're going to make a collar. So these are smaller leaves. It's going to take more than two to do this. So I'm just going to put it just like that. And you kind of want to push them to the very edge so they catch. I love that container too. Oh, that good. container was popular. Oops, oh, yep. my Apple Watch didn't turn off. Oh, there you go. Fun. It is what it is. So let's take a little bit of pit. And this is just to give us a little bit of, when we start to put the flowers in, it'll hold it a little bit better. Right? We That's hope. right. We hope. We hope. So then we'll put one out to the edge just like that. So I have just a little bit of a collar of greenery. So now I'm going to go back and pull our hydrangea out. So how is everybody in the happy family today? Everyone's good. We have friends from West Virginia, Alabama, Magnolia, Arkansas, more awesome. Alabama, South Carolina, Illinois, Idaho. Good deal. St. Louis, Texas, all over the place. And everyone's uh, oh. asking, how is the other side of the happy family doing today? You. <laughs> We're doing better today than we did yesterday. I'll tell you what, I've decided I'm not going to watch the news anymore right before I go on the air. Our governor comes on at 1.30 normally and gives us the count and how many people have died and da, da, da. And you know, there's just some days it just overwhelms me. Yesterday was an overwhelming day. Nothing I could do about it. I'm sorry it happened, but I'm gonna be in a better place. Like I told someone that I had several people <laughs> we did. message me yesterday going, are you okay? <laughs> are you all right? And I feel bad that, you know, I, that, I, that I didn't come off the way I should have, but you know, just some days you gotta, I don't know. It was just not a good day, but we got through it and today's a new day and here we go. And here we're we gonna are. Make, we're gonna make the best of it. We've had a busy day today too. We had a really busy day. We went to our warehouse and got some. Yeah, we don't need to have smell o vision today because it was so hot in that warehouse. It was. But <laughs> well, we got some great containers for. Yeah, we us got to some use. fun containers to start working with for sure. So we have friends we were, from North Florida, Louisiana. We were on an Easter egg hunt today, weren't we? We were on an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> it was like, one is this it? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, look, here's this one. Yeah, yeah. We have friends from Greer's Ferry, Oklahoma, awesome. Texas. So I'm pulling all the black magics are going to go in this one. Oh, no. Dale just said my niece just got, maybe she went out of the hospital, got of the hospital with COVID-19. Oh, no. Hopefully they get to feeling better soon. Yeah. Miss Connie used to actually work for with us and actually watches. She found out she has COVID and she's... Ugh. She's house quarantined in Conway. So I checked on her last night to make sure she was okay. So Janae know, so. said everyone's allowed to have down days and we're allowed to have them too. <laughs> well, not really because everyone was kind of upset. Well, they were really concerned. Like many, we had many happy family members that were like, Chris, I'm very concerned for you. Are you tired? <laughs> I am tired. It's more, you know, I almost thought yesterday was more of a mental tired than it was a physical tired. It's just, I just want some good news to come across on those 
dadgum news things. I know. <laughs> so, but, you know, there's just nothing we can do about it other than do what we can, and that's try to be as safe as possible and make sure that we take care of our loved ones. So, we have Ohio in the house. Miss Beverly said she's here. Oh, great. We have lots of people that say you can have a bad day, but we bring them the happies. <laughs> well, I guess and that's what bothered me the most was that because I do, I do worry about, not worry about, I always want to make sure that we're making y'all happy. And when we got three percent, goes, what is wrong with you? And then my wife said, Renee said the same thing. She goes, man, you were off today. And I'm just like, just so we have a few been. people that are in the same boat as you. Miss Maisie said, no more news for us. And Miss Patsy said she was worried about you yesterday, but she understands that you have to <laughs> shut off the news sometimes. You have to shut it off and just realize there's, you know, only so much you can do, and you got to make the best of it. So someone said, "Look at the size of those hydrangeas, and Aren't they, they are huge." Yesterday, I was like, "Mr. Chris, are you sure, sure those are real?" Are, yeah, they are for real. Like I had to touch them just to make sure. So now we're going to go back and pop a little bit of red on top of these, of the free spirits, just to give a little free bit. Free spirits, of, no. No, freedom. Freedom. Free something. It was free, free somewhere. Free something. Free, free something. So anyway, so we're going to go back and pop a few of these in. Someone asked if that is upright um, amaranthus. It is upright amaranthus. It's the burgundy variety. And then we have it in a light green color, a sagey green, which I love in the fall time. Miss Anastasia said, well, good news is I just retired. Oh, congratulations. Now let's go back and pull this plum or this purple trichalium and Ooh, pop a little so bit of that in there. So we're kind of going kind of jewel jewel colors. So what is the purple in the middle? That's the amaranthus. Okay. This? That's the I think so. I think that's the amaranthus. And what is it that you're putting in again? I forgot. Trichalium. Okay. Trichalium. Keep pulling those out there. So someone just said that they have not gotten their gift card for the hundredth day or for the hundredth happy. I actually have not sent those out yet. Um, I will do yours um, this afternoon. We ha still have quite a few people that we were trying to track down. So I was trying to do it all at once, but I understand that some people that were prompt in getting their information to us probably want them. So I will yeah. work on that. Oops, we'll get on it, we promise. Yes, I will. So now let's go back and add a little bit of this. I still love this kind of amaranthus color of Queen Anne's lace. I have never seen that color yeah. since yesterday. Yeah, you know, it kind of comes Before in a yesterday. chocolatey color too. Hmm. Later on, it'll kind of chocolatey. That would be pretty for like bouquets that like that. Oh yeah, color. for sure, definitely, definitely. And then we're gonna go back and add one more of those dahlias. And now to twist it up just a hair. Everyone loves this Another color term. palette. We're going to go back and add a yep. few of these and then add a little bit of that berry on top. How's that sound? Perfect. What was the word Perfect. that you just used? Huh? What was the word you just used, your technical term of the day? Mm, which one was it? I'm sure someone will repeat it for I'm me. I'm sure someone will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a term that I've used that I was kind of known for when I was president of AFD, and that was always, always you say, let a rip, tater chip. I never have used that one here, so we're going to have to start bringing that one back. Oh, goodness. Let her rip. I know. I've heard, I've heard you say it. Yeah. People so. say you look more rested today. They were worried about you yesterday. <laughs> we, were, we just, we were kind of off yesterday. I don't, sorry about that. So let's go back and add just a hint. Oh, yeah. Kind of digging that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Mr. Allen heard, trick it up. <laughs> trick it up. Got to trick it up. Trick it up. I think that's the first. I've heard you say that one. So, and let's Miss Judy thought on. yesterday was her all-time favorite arrangement, but now she thinks it's this one. For now. For now. For now. Can't believe I haven't missed the stems anywhere. I know. Miss Deanne really? said that our happies help them to turn off the bad news in the world daily, and they thank us for that. Oh, uh, well, it really helps us too. It's just it yesterday does. we just had a lot of stuff hit right before we went on the air, and I, uh, I'm Ooh. not very good at My wife says you can all, and so do my children. My children have the same problem I have. You can always read our face and tell what's going on. 
And so... Yeah, we always know when Mr. Curse is not so <laughs> sure about a situation because his straight. face says it all. My face, and then his mouth probably I says it too. I don't hide it very well. So, so we're going to add these. Aberjean kind of, not Aberjean, kind of a cinnamon color, light pink lily to the middle. We have people saying this is their new favorite. Oh, good. I do love the container or the leaves that you put in the container. That maroon color. I'm gonna zoom pretty. in for that. Can y'all see that? One more of those. So there's that. We have Linda people saying it. that this is a gorgeous arrangement, and they love Mr. Chris's work. Oh, good. Is this arrangement in a foam block? No. No, not at all. Nope. It's all in water. All fresh. And that was really one of the reasons why I wanted to redo this today is because yesterday was in foam. And I know those flowers aren't going to hold as long as they could. So I just wanted to be practical about it and remake it. So there's that one. So let me start this one. I'm going to pull the flowers out of this left out of this one. I'm going to set this down here. Okay, here I go. So someone said they missed the first part. What's in your container? Um, red tea leaves. It's all a natural leaf in there. So someone asked what or how do you keep the hydrangeas from wilting? Well, we do a trick here at Tipton Hurst where we actually take all the foliage off the leaves. Is that container going to stay there? Hang on. I got to get all the flowers off this one first. Okay. Ooh, he's he's a little kinda nervous. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like baby Jesus at the in the main at the end and the very that ain't there no room in the no end. Room. room in the end, honey. So we got to slice and dice here a little bit. Oh, we have people saying this is your best yet. Oh, goodness. And Miss Linda, you know, she takes time all the time. Yep. She said this one took 10 minutes and she loves it. Oh, good. So let's pull that out of the way there. So now we're going to go back and we're going to go back into what I call sherbet colors, meaning everything that... Oh, Losing. Did we drop something? Shh, don't tell anybody. They'll never know. Okay. So anyway, what I want to do first, let's go back and add, man, I need a bigger table. So Sounds like a personal problem right? there. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a personal problem. It is a personal problem. And we're going to add just a little bit of this uh, Dusty Miller into it because I want this to be kind of frothy frothy that's another term there we go big term there frothy and so now we're going to spin this and we're so going to we have... start out with a little bit of seed eucalyptus someone said your creative juices are flowing today oh goodness now, now what is that I called? just decided this is naked seeded eucalyptus okay. So we actually purchased this without the leaves on it. And for some reason, you know, it start going through phases where it seeds up a lot more. And that's where you're gonna get that. I've just kind of decided in the last couple of days, I, I, you know me, I fret and worry about stuff all the time. You do, and that, me too. That we're just gonna do happies. We're gonna have a good time doing it. If we repeat something, so be it. We're just going to make pretty flowers and not get too worried about it. I'm not going to worry about, you know, is this the best it could be da, 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 as far as techniques and tricks and all this other stuff. So Miss Kelly said, so that's all that you do is take the leaves off the hydrangea. She has a horrible um, time with it at her shop. We take the leaves off. We use a, a solution called Quick Dip that um, helps harden the stem faster it flushes the water the air out of the stem um, also a lot of our viewer a lot of our happy family suggests that you use allium allium on them as well i still have a little bit of that left oops <laughs> someone's oh, laughing that you said naked like with an n-e yeah yeah naked that well <laughs> from the south i said it right so mr dave said we don't care for repeats nothing will ever be the same okay so. okay you don't care or you do care? <laughs> well, I think they don't care if you <laughs> have a <do> repeat. <laughs> well, there's only, as they say in the, as, they, as I say in the South, there's only so many ways to skin a cat. Now you can't say that anymore because Pete will come after you, but anyway. <laughs> you still say that off camera though. 
<laughs> but anyway. Someone asked, are these orders that you're filling? Nope. Nope. Just reusing from yesterday. Just reusing from yesterday and the fact that if I make things nine times out of ten, they sell in the front. So we do have Miss Linda that says, but not a mesh wreath. Not a mesh wreath. Do not. No <laughs> mesh wreath. <read. laughs> I love that yesterday. You were telling me afterwards how many people were going like, no mesh wreaths. So, so someone said they idea. missed it. Do you have Dusty Miller in this arrangement? We do have Dusty Miller in this arrangement. I used to make some cute pumpkins and all kinds of stuff with that mesh. Anyway. Not anymore. <laughs> carrots. Not with I our made, happy family. I used to make carrots for Easter for your door. Like everyone oh needed a, a mesh carrot for their door. Well, of course everyone needs that. Okay. Let's put these beautiful dahlias in here. Yeah, we have lots of people thinking you're very funny by the way you said <laughs> naked. Naked. Well, how yeah, else, Mr. Dave said you, that means that I love well, your work. How else do you say it? I don't know. <laughs> 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 so there, I said it the right way. Well, whatever, whatever <laughs> lets you sleep at night, that's the <laughs> right. way you say it. Well, trust me, me, how I pronounce naked ain't going to keep me up at night either. So <laughs> we don't worry about that. <laughs> So we have friends from New Jersey watching today. We have friends all over the place. What are those pink colored roses called? Are those this shimmer one, roses? They're shimmer. They're actually okay. peachy. Yeah, the peach shimmer rose, right? Right. You know what? I'm taking these out. Oh, goodness. Well, I think they'd be better over there. Don't you? Okay, so Miss Ann said it's naked. Ked. Not naked, Ked. but naked. Naked. Naked, yeah. Exactly. It's with an A, not an E. Yeah. See, okay. I feel like we've gotten a grammar class today. Yeah, well, we need a grammar class. We did. We? Always need a grammar class. So someone asked if we have gotten any rain. We have not, but I think it's no. supposed to start tomorrow. And you know, I was actually going to cut some crepe myrtle out of my yard at lunch to put some more hot pink like in this one. But I realized our, my crepe myrtles are really need water but it's supposed to rain really bad like the next couple of it days is, here because this the yeah. hurricane's coming yeah. up storm so i thought mm, no i'm too lazy i'll forget about it it'll, it'll get rain tonight so then tomorrow then we can go back and do that so i'm going to add some of these rosa lilies aren't those fun Ooh, those are those multi 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 petal someone wants you to say oxygen oxygen i don't know why <laughs> i think they're going to tell you you're saying it wrong probably Probably. Oh, see, Miss Ann said she was a teacher for 34 and a half years. Oh. So she can help us <laughs> Thank out. Thank you make for sure your we... service, for <laughs> yes. sure. I could never do that. I'm with Miss Birdie. Either way, it's communicated. It's tomato, tomato, so whatever. Right? So let's go back and add just a pinch of these berries back into this. Kind of make all this kind of tie together with this color. Ooh. We have lots of people loving those lilies. Oh, they are so pretty. So keep going with that. Do we have a sad Dusty Miller down there? Where? Right there. Yeah, kind of. Well, not, yeah, it was. It was going to be real sad after it dehydrated because it mm. broke. So Miss Terry said she's getting two Lazy Susans done because she loves your videos. Oh, them. good. I may need to have her get us one. I was just about to say, we may need a new <laughs> one, too. We may need to get a new one, too. <laughs> we were kind of worn this one out. Like Miss Ann said, she was your daughter's kindergarten teacher, Miss Peters. Oh, well, there you go. Miss Judy said it's raining on and off with the Gulf, in the Gulf Coast of Texas today. And so how are our viewers in Hawaii? I wonder how they're doing. I know they were forgetting. I know some. that there is someone on from Hawaii maybe, today, so maybe yeah, we can so let maybe us know. You're, I hope you're okay and let let us know you're all right. Um. So someone said, "How do the rose lilies hold up in foam?" Um, just as well as the other lily would. I mean, they're 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 fairly not going to be that big of a pro no more issue than a normal lily would be. So we have lots of people saying they love the arrangements today. I think well, we good. have some saying they like them better than yesterday. Well, let's kind of go in there with that. 
Miss Lori said she needs this ship to Florida. Oh, good. So I think we're almost. I think we're almost done. How large is our Lazy Susan? Do you know? Uh, that is about 15 inches. Oop, oop. Oh, I was going to add this to it. I think I need to add that or not. Sure. Let's just add it. Just for a spot of, yeah. Oh, you know what? I was wondering, Miss Yolanda wasn't on at first and she just got on and she said she almost missed us. Oh, goodness. We have lots of people saying these are the best two happies yet. Oh, goodness. That'll set the bar high for you for tomorrow. Ooh, now I won't sleep an out again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. At 2 o'clock uh, tomorrow, we'll be thinking about what we're going to do. <laughs> no, I've actually already pulled it. No, I, wait, do I don't three, believe it. I have. I already was going to do three things today, and I thought, ah, oh, this will be enough. We'll do this tomorrow. It okay, has to we'll do. See. It kind of. It'll be reminiscent of today's Good Morning Arkansas okay. spot. Okay. Perfect. So that those that saw that <laughs> might want to press press uh, fast forward because it's going to be real similar to today's TV spot we did. So anyway, and I've kind of blocked in color with this a little bit too. If you notice, like there's a punch of peach, a punch of peach, a punch of light pink. Throughout the whole thing. Miss March said you get an A for composition today. Oh, well, good. I'm always an overachiever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks so much for being here today. I hope you've had a happy, I don't know what I just stepped on. Ugh. Something. Kind of sweet. Of, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching us. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed night. Have a safe night, and thanks for joining our happies. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.